What's up, Niner Nation? Kind of went MIA the past couple weeks, but I'm back. Now we're going to do another episode of 49er Insider. We'll pick things up with the Charlotte baseball team where it was kind of a, a weird week for them. They, they go to BB&T ballpark, that game gets rained out against Wake Forest, so they have to come home and play and finish that game. And then they play La Tech in a weekend series, and then they have to play a doubleheader on Saturday. So it was a long week, but the Niners come out 2-2, two and two, an even record, and TJ Nicktine and Jackson Mims really just putting on a show in that 3-4 spot in the lineup. They both added a solo home run. And how about the sophomore shortstop Hunter Jones? He had a clutch two RBI single in the third game to put the game away against La Tech. He batted 400 for the week and drove in three. And how about Colton Laws? That dude is just absolutely fantastic. Seven innings, two runs, six strikeouts. Another win for him in the books. Niners again, two and two this past week and two and one in Conference USA. Softball finishes the week three and two, taking two in a doubleheader against Furman in a midweek game, and then going one and two against FAU on the road. Grace Beatty batted 500 for the week, and now she leads Conference USA in doubles with 12. And then Haley Wiseman continues to dominate. She went two and one this week with an ERA of 2.33 and 21 innings pitch and 17 strikeouts. Batters only hit 189 against her. And then Haley Pace. There's so much we can say about her, but just to sum it up, she's really good. She's like really, really good. You do you, Haley Pace, you do you. Moving on to track and field, Tom Nobles, the redshirt sophomore, racing in the 10K. He finished 12th out of 73 at the Adidas Raleigh Relays with a time of 29, 13, 35. His time actually ranks first in the conference and ninth in the nation. Nobles ran the second fastest time in Charlotte program history. And also sticking with the 10K, but moving to the women's side, Caroline Sang, the junior, ran a time of 33-44-44 and finished third at the Adidas Raleigh Relays. And her time also ranks first in conference and third in the nation. And as well, Sang ran the second fastest time in Charlotte program history. Moving to the field events, Jalen Holt finishes first for the men's triple jump and men's long jump at the Tennessee's Rust Buster. Holt's marks in the triple jump and long jump are now first in Conference USA. And sophomore Keon Howe, the pole vaulter at Tennessee's Rust Buster, finished first with a height of 5.1 meters to become the first 49er ever to eclipse the five meter mark in the outdoor men's pole vault. So yeah. I'd say it was a pretty successful weekend for the Charlotte 49ers track and field team. Time now for some Niner history, and I think this one is going to mean a little more to some of you fans out there. March 26, 1977. The Charlotte 49ers men's basketball team played in its first ever NCAA Final Four where they faced Marquette after knocking off the number one seeded Michigan Wolverines 75-68. And that 1977 men's basketball team definitely was something special and I know something that you fans will always cherish and remember. Time now for our top plays of the week. Let's pick it up in Boca Raton. Number three, Aaron Powers at the dish. Extra innings, eighth inning. And she delivers a double into right field, clearing the bases. And the Niners would go on to win that game six to two. Aaron Powers coming in clutch. Number two, this one didn't make it on to SportsCenter's top plays, but it'll make it on ours. TJ Nickting at the wall and robs the home run. A magnificent catch from Nickting. Usually walls have padding, but this is just a straight wooden fence. He hits his back against it, but he's able to pull that ball back going out of the park. And number one, also from baseball in the Law Tech series. Hunter Jones diving, leaving his feet and sliding on the turf. What a play by Hunter Jones. So that's our show this week. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you make it out to BB&T Ballpark tonight as the Niners take on NC State, who they did beat earlier this season. And we'll see you here next week. Go Niners.